Nothing else really matters until we understand the power of our thoughts. But the number one determinant of our success is, is what, we, what we believe. How many of you, by show of hands, how many of you have to be self-motivated to do what you do? Raise your hand. Now look, at your, look around at your table. If you see someone with their hand not up, check their pulse. <laughs> Think about it. Motivation has business results. Uh, I really enjoyed Kevin speaking. Uh, he was a lot of fun, very engaging. Uh, you know, I think he was a really good way to kick off the start to the conference. So can I get a volunteer in the first two or three rows just to stand up? First volunteer, you get a free book. Just stand up. All right, right there. Your name? Yeah. Carolyn. Can we say, hey, Carolyn? Yeah. <laughs> so Carolyn, you're going to order some fish, right? Now what I want, I'm going to go ahead and act like you're at my store. There you go. Grab it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Carolyn's at my, she's walked into the store at the Pike Place Fish Market. Now Carolyn's going to say, I'd like to buy this pound of salmon. I'm going to say, pound of salmon for Carolyn. And then you are going to repeat it with me. And then she's going to throw me that fish. So what would you like? How can I help you? Pound of salmon for me. <laughs> pound of salmon? Pound of salmon for Carolyn. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, give it up for her. There you go. <laughs> See me afterward, I'll double the value. All right, good. See, our thinking impacts our actions. Our actions impact our results. So if we want to have a change in anything, guess where it starts? It starts with us. It starts with how we think. So a growth mindset, envisioning new possibility, being aware of our thoughts, which, by the way, can be tough to do. I recently saw a study that said 73% of the average person's thoughts on a daily basis are negative. Now, some of you are thinking, that's way too low. <laughs> you don't know my husband. Amen. <laughs> Repeat with me. Say grow. <laughs> we have to choose to grow. See, our mind is fertile soil. Our thoughts are seeds. What we plant will grow. She says, Kevin, in all my years of teaching, this is one of the best papers I've ever read. Oh, wow. But you have a problem. Outside of our comfort zone requires taking some risk. And for those of you that have been skydiving, this is a, a clip of my first, uh, my first jump. A little, little recommendation for you would be this. If you're going to go skydiving, tell your mom after you did it. <laughs> but what do you think skydivers want to do once they land? Do it again. And if we felt the fear in life and did it anyway, we would accomplish so much more greatness. But a lot of times we're afraid. So here's what we're going to do. Here's our activity. Each of us is going to have a little, little song, about 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. This is an activity I called Follow the Leader. Follow the what? So whatever they do, you got to do. Okay? So each of us is going to have one song. I'll, I'll dance with each of you, so don't worry. But each of you have your own song. All right? What you have to do is do what they do. So everybody, 
Stand up. Hey, look at this. All right, give it up for him. You ready? This is how we do it. Grab a book, y'all. Grab a book. Woo! Look, y'all. <laughs> that may have gone viral. I don't know. I don't know. He was phenomenal. He is one of the best motivational speakers I've been to see in the longest time. He really came out and motivated the company. Um, he gave us lots of good information that we can not only use in the company, but in your everyday life. And just seeing his excitement about his dream of wanting to be on The Price is Right and finally achieving that dream from a little boy to adulthood is phenomenal. It, it's fine. Lower, you got it. Step over there, punch out four holes and don't pull out the slip in the hole. What would you do if you're driving home today and a song came on the radio that you did not like? What would we do to that? We'd change the station. And I realized, see, I always thought that just because my mind, this internal voice, how many of you would admit that you've got an internal voice sometimes that talks to you? Okay, some of you have two and it's kind of scary, all right? <laughs> I have a lot of internal conversations with myself and sometimes I have to remind myself that one of the most important relationships I need to work on is the one I have with myself. Because if I listened to a song I didn't like, I would turn the station. What my counselor said was just because you have that inside voice, it doesn't mean you have to agree with it. So Kevin's an amazing speaker, first and foremost, but he really has some genuine things to say to his audiences. I would say that for an 8.30 presentation, I wasn't really ready to be that high energy, but I quickly took on his energy. I felt like I was connecting with him through the whole presentation. I also feel like today I really learned that you do have to go into any situation, whether you might think it's negative. It's only negative because you think it's negative. So you can always change your mindset and press the reset button and figure out how to make any situation a positive one. And I want to part with you like Bob Barker does. <laughs> Help control the pet population. <laughs> Have your pets spayed and neutered. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much. Core Productions. Wow, 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 wow. Was that great or what? All right, all right.